Welcome to another episode of the Yankee and the Hillbilly. And the Hillbilly guest. Woohoo! Alright, so we do have some special guests today. And so let's introduce yourself and say Yankee or Hillbilly. I'm Lou Ann Miller and I'm definitely a Hillbilly. Julie Carson, Hillbilly. <laughs> Shannon Bass, Hillbilly. Alright, so it looks like I am greatly outnumbered here. But don't worry, I know my point of view will win. And today what we're going to talk about is late night food, which is often confused with breakfast food. Um, and as you can see right now in the background, we have a Waffle House. And Waffle House is the big late night breakfast food uh, establishment down here. Now we do not have Waffle Houses up north. We have diners, 24 hour diners, which are wonderful and I miss them so much. And see, what Hillbilly is considered to be a diner is somebody that goes into the house and dines. <laughs> like if I go in to eat something for lunch, I'm dining, I'm a diner. But this is an iconic place. The Waffle House serves delicious food on a daily basis, 24 seven. And it even tastes better late late night early early morning especially after you've been out and making merriment <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's not the same i mean diner okay wolf house is a chain restaurant you can find them all over the place diners are not chains individually family owned and each diner has its own unique personality um, that you go to for different types of food. Okay, um, now, back in my college days, one of our favorite places to go after late night fun was a place called Sizzling Steak or Eggs. Now, where would that place fall in between the two, like Waffle House and Diner? Because well, okay. their, their famous meal was... Eggs and steak were they open with 24 hash hours? Yes, they were. Okay, that, that that is a big, you know, to be a true diner, a true op, you need to be open 24 hours because and do they serve breakfast 24 hours? Yes, they do. Then I would probably say that is closer to a diner than the Waffle House. And it's not a chain. And it's not a chain. Now, do they uh, sell spirits? No, they didn't. By that time, well, you'd had enough. Well, <laughs> something I think is interesting is, uh, you see, most of your diners have, have like a, a, a name, because what comes to mind when I hear diner is Mel's Diner from the TV sitcom. Amen. With Flo. And, yeah, Rose. with Flo and Kiss My Grits, you know. <laughs> Kiss My Grits. But um, that's what I was like. It's like uh, Linda's Diner or, you know, Peggy's Diner. Uh, can we did make a comparison with Waffle House to IHOP? Mm. No. Why not? No. Why not? Why well, not? For, 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 it's a chain, and it's it, a breakfast it, it, chain. It, it, it's they not. Serve breakfast all day. Denny's yeah, does too. The same. We have it's not stumped 24 the hours. Yankee. Okay, have... let's get down to the let's get down to the the real question. <coughs> Is the Waffle House a hillbilly establishment, yes or no? Yes. No, it's universal. I, I'm going to disagree with you. I think it's a hillbilly establishment. No. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. You don't have them in Virginia. Hillbilly. No. <laughs> I would say this. When I think of Waffle House, I think of Kid Rock getting in a fight in a Waffle House. <laughs> and just because of that, it makes it hillbilly. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well, I, when I think of Waffle House, and I, I'm probably wrong here, but in the movie Tin Cup, they and when they went out to celebrate, they all went to celebrate at a Waffle, like something equivalent to a Waffle House. So that's, you look, man, any place that sells grits, that's straight up hillbilly. You can't deny that. That's true. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm sure you're not going to find grits at a diner in, uh, no, you're not. In Yankeeville. Now, I do know. They have grits 
in some local establishments in New Jersey. They do. They're, they call them grits. They're imported grits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't put the right stuff on them like we do. Okay. Well, I think we've answered this question pretty clearly with our opinion. Uh, write in the comment, se comment section if you think differently. So this is another episode of... The Yankee. And the Hillbilly. And Billy's. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good day.